Well, good day, everybody. Today we have a look at the 2013 uh, edition of the 1994 Porsche 911 Carrera Cabrio. That was a 50 years of Porsche in 2013, and this is a licensed Porsche licensed model of Italieri of the 911. Now, people who know me know this is a very modern car for me. But I like it. I like it. I uh, like the form of it, and I, you know, just happened to get it from somebody offered it for sale for a reasonable price. So I, uh, sucker that I am, I bought it. Now we all know Italieri. They do not have. Sorry about the light here. Italieri do not have the best uh, name in uh, model builders go, and there are a couple of reasons for that. I do get it. Um, uh, while I'm waffling on, I can just show you what's going on here. This is what the engine can look like. Because they can be a bit rough. I, for example, I built an Escort rally car of them not too long ago, which actually came out in the end quite nice. But it is, uh, it's not Mubius, you know. It's uh, it, it takes a bit more effort to make it nice, which obviously is a, is a challenge in itself. You see, I have the Scalemate page here at the back, which tells me that the first, 911 Cabrio was popped by Italieri in 1994. This particular kit was popped in 2013, as I said already, and it is a classic, nice, sweet little Porsche. I actually like these. I really do. Right, but let's have a look what they come with. Now, uh, Italieri instructions, and you probably know this, are always a little bit, uh, a little bit more basic than others. To start with, this is a fold-out instruction, like the AMT kit. You know, know them, you know, so you fold them out like that. Otherwise, um, I've worked with Italieri instructions before, and I didn't have any problems. Um, they actually work out fine, give you a very good idea where everything goes. It's not fancy, but they have a color color out, which is obviously important if you want to color it like it is in the box. Um, they show you all the parts, so you can make sure everything is there which you need. There we go. And they give you all the instructions you need. Oh, there's a glass part here, you always find it very, very nice. Here you go. You won't find much of a decal uh, call out. Well, you won't need much of a decal call out because the decals are this. So I can call out that this goes onto the dashboard here in the top left hand corner. And uh, the other decal, the Carrera, well, they will show you where that goes. The emblem right over there in the center. Here. Yeah. And then you can choose where you want to have your car based at between either the United States, Germany, Italy or France. And these are the different uh, uh, number plates. Pre-European Union number plates. Uh, I like that a lot. And then you have, that should be the front emblem. And then a couple of smaller Porsche emblems, which... Uh, go somewhere I'm not sure possibly the wheels and uh, that's it uh, Italieri uh, decals are normally fine there's no problem with them They've, I had this uh, escort rally car best part of that kit where probably the decals they lay down very nicely and I'm certainly no expert in putting down decals but they were biggish decals and different parts you know and and they they worked fine really did. Now let me show you the tires. That's what they are. Here you go. There's the tread. Um, they are on one of these trees which I'm not a huge fan of. What I am a huge fan of is that they are uh, branded. Let's see if I can get the light here so you can see that. Here you go. And they are branded Continental. And if memory serves me right, but it doesn't necessarily do that these days anymore and always, but if memory serves me right, uh, these Porsches came off the line with Continentals. So here you go, the original tires for a 911. And let me show you the entire 
chrome's true that is all that is chromed in this kit are the wheels and that's fine because there wasn't much other chrome on it apart from around the window and we will just chrome that ourselves we go wheels inside of the mirror side mirrors and that's it then it has the clear which i will not take out of the plastic because i always mess it up you can feel it's nice and thin it has these uh, uh, which goes into the back bumper which gives it that nice uh, look it has the lights uh, the indicators right over here and then obviously the front windshield you can see it's from the i'm sure they also have a normal 911 i'm sure this is where the back window would have gone on the coupe there you go so that looks fine doesn't look scratched doesn't look warped and uh, doesn't look too thick either now we come to the part of Italieri which we all loathe and it's their black plastic it's a bit brittle you have to work it a little bit different than the soft plastic from let's say a Revell kit but it's not unworkable it works fine your plastic glue will work with it fine there's nothing essentially wrong with it and in the older days most kids had this kind of harder plastic so that's what Italieri does they use this hard black plastic so once you show uh, priming well you won't get around that these are the backs of the seed and uh, some other parts which you can have a look at there you go I guess that's the back section where the engine will eventually go and uh, that's a pen at the back there we go that is that's true then we have another somewhat bigger one where you see the chassis let's have a look at the detail at the bottom well that's all right i guess the rest you add yourself um you see there's a quite a extensive suspension part of this you will see there's very little flash i guess with this kind of plastic flash is not really an issue so let's go a bit closer look at the detail of all of it there we go the brake drums the wipers back seat the inside but the pan um, look at the pedals over here lots of times if they are not you know which you pedals which you glue in afterwards the pedals are you know just molded in well they are kind of molded in but still have a space in between here we have the seats let's turn them around here you go nice sporting seats these are the seat for the back and I am looking for the dashboard but that might be on another screw As you know I always love a good dashboard now this has been molded in two colors and here we go that's been molded in this particular blue color possibly with the idea that you could you know polish it up and leave it like that um, I, I, I don't think I will do that here we go but that looks not too bad at all the side mirrors and all the kind of detail. when you spray paint it don't forget the side mirrors when you do the body I've done that many a time and uh, you have been warned and uh, other parts right over here here's the bonnet obviously the engine at the Porsche at the back right and then last but not least the body itself here you go the door gap looks a bit too pronounced but I guess once you paint it up and as you can see there are some small parts which certainly need work here if you need a bit of a sandpapering you can possibly see, yeah you can see that very clearly you can also feel it very clearly so that's it nothing nothing to it um, handle with care feels a bit flimsy so just that you have been warned but I'm sure it will build up to a nice model Italieri kids always need a little bit more attention a little bit more tender loving care 
you will have to do a fair amount of sanding and uh, compared to the escort that actually looks already very very good and uh, all the other goodies which we as model builders do but generally if you plan to to buy this doesn't look bad out of the box um, if it builds up anything like that escort probably better than the escort you should be fine escort was kind of borderline but it still turned out quite nicely and uh, I'm sure this will turn out very well as well kind of a you know back in time for me uh, 94 I was 30 years old and would love to have a, a Porsche 911 cabriolet as we see it here and they are it's a lovely car and I sure I'm sure it will come out lovely as you can see here on the picture you see the wheels are um, matte chrome the chrome which comes in the kit is very sparkly so you have to matte that down a bit and that was it that's uh, my kit review of the uh, Italieri Porsche 50 years of Porsche um, Porsche official licensed product of the 911 Cabrio. Looking forward to building that and I hope you enjoyed the preview. Cheers guys.